let's ask this question by Secular Sakai. He's saying, the Romani are the most well-known by name, but only one of several uh, itinerant European ethnic groups, part of the umbrella classification known as travelers. There are also the Pavis, Scottish Highland travelers, Yenish, and others. They all have unique cultures and languages, but usually have similar negative repu reputations and are so associated with nomadic lifestyles and crime. How can a mutual trust be established between their communities and outsiders? Um, this is tough because I watched some documentaries about these communities. And I mean, this is like, you know, in Europe and in India, like there are all these little microcosmic communities um, that are nomadic. And I think it's difficult because part of their cultural identity is to be transient. So when governments have attempted to make them sedentary, it just fails miserably. And then they have a lot of really negative social outcomes like substance use or just like deepening poverty um, or illiteracy and child marriage. Like it just, yeah, it's rough it, because their entire cultural orientation is surrounded by this idea of a nomad lifestyle. And so to try to take that away from them is really taking away like a core in-group identifier. Um, and it's tough because like if you are a transient group, like you will, you're not able to build more connections with outsiders. You're not because you will leave or they're very temporary. Um, and um, oftentimes they're seen as very invasive to other people's spaces. Like, oh, they're just coming to live in our parks or they're coming to, you know, live on my property and they don't obey like our, our laws. And um, it's, it's difficult because a lot of these communities are very impoverished because their nomadic lifestyle isn't economically viable the same way that it used to be back when we were like an agrarian society. Um, or, you know, more societies are just generally nomadic. Um, and so they are just, I, I was watching a documentary about technically their nomadic group in India called the Gardi Alohar. And I was just thinking about how this group is destined for impoverishment because they will not stay in any place long enough to educate their children up to parity. And they have essentially no competitive skills in the marketplace and their inability to build roots where you can accumulate wealth in any given location. Like you need to stay in one place to be able to really accumulate generational wealth because you're investing in one area, you're investing in a place, you're building the connections there. Like I really, I really can't think of like a way to progress the quality of life for a lot of these a lot of these groups because then when you do try to make them sedentary it it destroys their social fabric um it's really sad and tragic um and then a lot of people are like no we don't want to make them sense sedentary because that's destroying like their traditional way of life and you're destroying their cultural heritage you know it's like a more nostalgic um a impulse which i don't think really serves people who are going through that what nonsense ability. it's difficult what, when, do, you, when what do you think of the whole situation well i mean you seem to be a lot more um informed about this than i am so i don't i, I just want to comment on the last part you said like it's amazing people people want to it's amazing to me when people care about preserving culture more than they care about improving people's lives when it comes when preserving culture comes at the cost of people's lives then screw your culture yeah you know it's 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 like um it's, it's kind of this impulse almost towards like saving an endangered species like this is a way of life that's from the past and the evils of modernism are destroying their vibrant culture and their social well-being and 
you know, it's, it's the last nomadic group. Like we have to save them and like keep their way of life, but it might actually be their way of life. That's maladaptive, deeply maladaptive. It's, it's not meeting the needs of the society nowadays. Like, I don't, I, I really don't know how to fix a problem like that. Yeah. Gage and American has a solution. Um, Gage and American is saying when we move into space, they can move around in space, mining the asteroids and delivering foodstuffs between colonies. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Fixed it. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.